Hey guys, it's Melissa. This is my third attempt at doing this voiceover, but my baby finally went down for a nap, so we shouldn't have any more interruptions. So this video is going to be uh, how I DIY'd these Minnie Mouse centerpieces that were for my daughter's first birthday. So starting with the supplies, you'll need these cute decorative fans that I got from the 99 cent store. Most supplies are from the 99 Walmart and Hobby Lobby. This centerpiece is super simple to make and it came out so beautiful with all the cute little prints from the fans. This polka dot one was definitely my favorite, very Minnie Mouse theme. So you'll also be needing wooden dowels, I got these from Walmart, as well as a hot glue gun with some glue sticks and a pair of scissors, I got mine from Walmart. And for the Minnie Mouse cutouts, the hands, the ones, and the bows, I actually downloaded them from Etsy. And from there I just went to Staples, had them printed, and big thanks to my cousins Leslie and Lisette for helping me cut all of these out. And I got these cute wooden boxes from the His and Hers brand from Hobby Lobby. And they usually have a 50% off on that brand, so just make sure you look out for those deals. This tool is also from Hobby Lobby, and it's just a pretty pink. And lastly, it's just styrofoam that I got from Walmart. So to start, you're going to be making a hole inside the styrofoam where you're going to place your dowel, and you're going to see where your Minnie Mouse cutout lines up on the dowel. So from there, you're going to glue hot glue onto the wooden dowel, and you're going to place your Minnie Mouse cutout on it and wait for it to dry. So here I'm just choosing which fan I wanted to go with and the polka dot one was definitely my favorite so I just started with that one. I peeled off the adhesive tape and I just added some more hot glue to that just to really secure it. I wanted to make sure nothing was gonna you know, fall apart or be flapping around if it was windy. So then you're gonna see where your Minnie Mouse cutout lines up on the decorative fan and you're gonna place hot glue on the wooden dowel and that's the side that's going to be attached to the decorative fan. What I really liked about these cute fans is that they're decorated on both sides, so it doesn't matter which side you really use. Just make sure that your dowel lines up with the seam of where your fan was glued together. That way it just looks uniform and you can't really see that line. So once it's nice and dry, you're just going to add some more hot glue to like her skirt and her hands and her bow, her head, to make sure everything is nice and secure. And, hold me in your arms again. and as you can see, I had previously already glued all of the little cutouts onto the wooden boxes. And I just made it look like she had her little hands on the sides, her bow in the front and the one in the back. And I did them all the same, so I really like how that came out. Now once that's dried and you're ready to place it in your wooden box, you're going to add some hot glue to the hole we previously made with the wooden dowel, as well as a little bit on the wooden dowel. You want to make sure you don't put too much hot glue because then it just melts the styrofoam and the hole we previously made becomes wider and so it's harder to stay in place. I also recommend that you hold it while it's drying so that the position it stays in is straight. So once it's nice and dry, you're going to want to glue in some filling, so I just used some extra construction paper I had lying around. Now for the final part, yes, we're almost done guys. You're going to grab your tool and you're going to measure about 6-7 inches and you're going to cut that piece and that piece is going to be your guideline for the rest of the pieces that you're going to cut. So you're going to cut about 8 pieces of tool and then you're just going to twist it and fold it in half and I do not recommend you do it the way I did it. I kind of just put hot glue at the tip to hold it together. I did wait for it to cool down before touching it 
but obviously that's not safe. What you can do is grab like a piece of string and tie it. Lucky enough, I did not burn myself, so you know, I'm fine, but I definitely recommend you do it a safer way. So to finish it, you're just gonna add two pieces in the front and two pieces in the back. And this is how it came out. This is the front side. I absolutely love, love, love how these came out. They're so fun and festive and bright. And it's exactly what I envisioned for her Minnie Mouse themed birthday party. And huge thank you to Emma's aunties, my sister Vanessa and cousin Dolores. You guys always come through. You guys always help me decorate and set up and you guys make everything look so beautiful. I really appreciate you guys and Emma loves you. You guys already know that. So I'll include a clip at the end showing you guys how everything came out with the 12 centerpieces set up already. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye guys. So this is Emma's party setup. All of the balloon work. Thank you to Dolores for helping me and Vanessa for setting up and the centerpieces.